Hi, my name is Gene Penny, and I run a small group here in town. Where I am today is because of small groups. Back in the 70s, I was approached by some of my uh, employees at my restaurant and invited me to a small group. And I didn't know anything about the God or Jesus Christ or anything about the Bible. And in the beginning, I was not interested. And over the course of time, because of the fellowship, the uh, intro workings of the group, how one uh, cared for me and, and just um, uh, encouraged me to continue on. So 40 some odd years later, here I am today, again, hosting a small group, been doing this for my entire life, and to me, there's nothing better. This is where you get your needs met. This is where uh, you have questions. It's hard to do that on Sunday. Sunday is a wonderful thing, but to want to get your needs met and have questions answered and have the love of the family just united. Our whole focus is on the Word of God. And so the direction that our small group goes into is where uh, we look at Acts 2.42, uh, where it talks about the first century church. They were continuing in the apostles' doctrine, uh, fellowshipping, breaking of bread, and in prayer. And that's what we're focused on. So when individuals come in, there's the fellowship and the breaking of bread. We do cake cookies, stuff like that, and then definitely get into prayer, filling needs, uh, taking care of uh, whatever issues are uh, needed to be taken care of that day if someone is sick or needs uh, um, uh, prayer, and then we get into um, the Word of God, and we focus on teaching people uh, the truth of the Word, and in turn, they can apply that in their life. So by doing that, uh, we love God, we love people, and we know that we will make a difference in people's lives. If you're not part of a small group, I encourage you greatly. Because again, just looking at it from my point of view, from my life, if I was not in a small group, I don't know where I would be today. We're all going through life. We know that there's an adversary out there that just wants to beat us down. And again, John 10.10, 10, the thief comes not but the for the steal, the kill, and the destroy. Jesus Christ says, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And that's what small groups are all about, to have that camaraderie between you and other individuals in your small group. There's nothing better. And that's just the example God uses as for the family. The Word of God says, be especially good to the household of faith. We're a household of faith built upon Jesus Christ. And so I, again, encourage you to be a part of a small group.